Previously, we looked at a flow chart for the logic for a counter control loop uh, that would count 10 times, or in this case, 0 through 9. Uh, let's look at how to do this in Python. So we'll create a new file here. And so we'll create count and initialize that to 0. And then we'll set up our loop, which is while count is less than 10. Okay, and then we'll print something. And we can print out count, but let's go ahead and make it interesting. And we'll say hello. And there, so we'll say hello with the count of each time we say it. And then, of course, uh, to avoid an infinite loop, we need to uh, do count equals count plus one. Uh, so that is pretty much it uh, in Python code. Uh, so let's run that. And of course, uh, it goes uh, zero through nine. Um, if we wanted to uh, have it count to ten, uh, there's a few ways to do that. In the flow chart, uh, we could change this to start at one. We change this to less than or equal to, uh, to stop right on 10 instead of before 10. Uh, but another quick way to do this is we could say hello, and we can just output uh, count plus 1. Uh, we could also move the count statement up, uh, but just probably good habit is the last thing in a counter control loop. Uh, should probably be your counter uh, to avoid some confusion with other things. So my preferred way here would just be output count plus one. Since we go zero to nine and we want to go one to 10, it's just one off. Uh, so let's clear that and we'll run this again. And now we get what we want if we wanted uh, one through 10. The other flow chart we looked at was um, to average um, five numbers together, get five numbers for input uh, and then average those together. Uh, so let's do that in Python as well. Uh, we don't want to destroy this, so we'll save that for later. Let's save it, and then we'll save a copy as. We'll just call that average numbers. And we'll modify um, that to fit. Um, our flow chart. So one thing we need is an accumulator. So we'll go ahead and set sum equal to zero. So sum will represent our accumulator. It doesn't have to be called sum. It's just another variable name. And then we're going to need to get input instead of putting an output here. So let's change that. And we'll just say number is equal to, let's just say integer. And we'll get input from the user. Say enter enter an integer and then as we get those we're going to need to add them up so we'll do sum equals sum plus that number and then at the end we're going to take the average so outside the loop we'll say average equals sum divided by the count and then all we have left is to print that output statement. So print. And I'm going to go ahead and put count in there. Is, and then we'll output average. Now to match our flow chart, I think we, we only wanted five numbers, so let's go back and change that to five, stop it at five. Everything else should be good. Let's clear this and get ready to run it. Put in some of our test values, 70, 85, 90, 95, and 100. And we get the average of the five numbers is 88, which is what we're expecting. And we can be a little bit more dynamic with our output. 
Uh, we didn't need to put that there were five numbers averaged together, but um, we could certainly put that in uh, as well. So these couple of loop examples in Python will probably be the basis of a lot of other uh, programs that require uh, counter-controlled loops.